Hey there everyone, welcome back to Ladder Up, where we're still wearing the wig, and it is Wednesday, and now, um, I know we're in the 1700s, but I just don't know how high. It's the first time we've been in the 1700s in a very long time. And 1714, woo woo, that's like, oh god, that's the highest I've been in forever. And that's 27 wins, 12 losses, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. We have Coco, with a rating of 1759, hola que tal, uh, you know... Not too much. Oh my god. Okay, um. What? What is this? Okay, so. I see a Tornadus, which is honestly kind of terrifying. Uh. Amoongus. No, not Amoongus. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I'm thinking about Amoongus. Um. Smeargle. Scizor. Uh. Tor Tornadus. Togekiss. Landorus. And Kangaskhan. And. Not for that sizzle. This would be easy money. Bisharp, honestly, is not a, not a not a bad lead. It's not a bad lead at all. Um, oh, it kind of actually because it underspeeds the smearable, so that's not good. I kind of have to go in front of Gardevoir, honestly. Kind of have to. Don't want to, but kind of have to. Kind of have to. I could go with Zapdos right away and just Tailwind. I could go Infernape Zapdos. You know what? I think this time I might have to go Infernape Zapdos and uh, do this. Uh, have Moongus Gardevoir on the back. Because Infernape Gardevoir is good, except if he leads Scizor Kangaskhan, I'm kind of in trouble. <sighs> yeah, and if he... I, I like the turn one pressure, but also I, I, I think in this game I'm really going to need Amoongus and Gardevoir next to each other, which is important. And I've definitely got to get rid of his, his Landers. His Landers could give me a lot of issues. So we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. I don't think he'll lead the Landers because I have a Bisharp and that's just kind of silly. Um, but if he does, you know, it's not the end of the world. Double genies, although not not the usual two genies. Usually there's a thunderous in there instead of a tornadoes, but this guy's highly rated, so he must know what he's doing. Smeargle Landris. Okay. Timonate goes off before. That's, so that's going to be a choice scarf Landris, I think. Oh no, I have no idea because I don't have pressure. Sorry, I was assuming my Zapdos has pressure. It does not. So I don't know how fast this Landris is. I think here, at turn one, I'm just gonna faint into the Smeargle. I'm gonna faint Thunderbolt. I'll, I might take a Rock Slide, but it's not the end of the world. I think this is my best option to not be Dark Voided, honestly. King Shield. Okay, just faint breaks that, right? I think so. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Oh, so it is Choice Scarf. Oh, he's going to knock out his own thing. Although, oh, but I... I Thunderbolt into the Landorus, which is kind of annoying. Man, a Tailwind there would have been great. Would have been great. What's he sending now? Kangaskhan, probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is easy for me. Uh, I think he's, he's Choice Scarf locked into Earthquake. So here we just... Uh, we go to Amoongus... What else did he have? He had... That was a decent turn one for me. A lot of damage on Inferno, which is annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think Zapdos is pretty free here. I could Tailwind, honestly. I think I'm going to Tailwind. Yeah, I'll, I'll Tailwind. Or I could just Thunderbolt, really. I think I'll just... I'll take this turn to Thunderbolt into Kangaskhan. Get some damage on it. Yeah, he's obviously going to switch out. He doesn't want to Earthquake his own. The Togekiss. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this will be some nice damage on the Kangaskhan. In case he wants to Double Edge, he'll knock himself out sooner. Um, if he has Return, then uh, Amoongus takes that really well. Uh, he'll take a lot of Rocky Helmet damage. And he'll have this Thunderbolt damage. If he wants to Fake out um, Zapdos, then, which he does... Okay, this is easy money. That's a crit. Come on! 
So stupid. Critical hits are so dumb. I've explained my position on this. I should make a video on how critical hits could actually be a good thing. Because right now they're not. That's a crit? Like, like that's great for me. Yeah, I knock him out. But now he gets a free switch into his land wrist and he can just, like, earthquake everything. So it's really, it's whatever, you know? Like, like, like crits are so inconsistent that sometimes they're great for you and sometimes they're actually bad for you. Like, a movie hidden crit is hands down a bad thing. And that Kangaskhan getting crit is honestly also kind of a bad thing. I mean, it's good in the sense that he only got off fake out damage, he didn't get a whole lot of other damage off. But now he just got a free switch into his landers, and he honestly could just rock slide, follow me, everything. He could do that. Um, I think here I want a Tailwind. I want a Tailwind Spore. If he doesn't follow me, he's gonna. Like, it could be safety goggles. But if he follows me, I'll get a um, a Tailwind off, which is good. He just goes for a rock slide. Okay, so Moongus is getting a spore off, unless he just air slashed it. But I should survive that. Oh, that is a lot of damage. This is critical hits all day long. Like, it's so stupid. He zapped his flinches, and it's fire blast. We should survive that. Oh, yeah. So, this game is dumb. It's really dumb. Because there's no reason for that. There's really not. Okay, so now, so he got a crit and a flinch, which is stupid. He got a crit the turn before. Landris is guaranteed to take a turn of sleep here. So what I'll do here is, I hope he doesn't have Thunder Wave. Um, because I'm going to Tailwind here. I don't think he can stop it. Tailwind, uh, switch to Gardevoir. The only way that he, he can come out of this well is if he, for some reason, Thunder Waves into the Amoongus, which seems silly to me. Uh, hopefully Trace Intimidate. That's good. That's, so thus far, this is really good for me. What's it going to go for? Landers is asleep, of course. And so if he Tailwinds too, then good for him, honestly. He goes for Dazzling Gleam. Okay, we got this. Easy money. Easy money. Easy money. Yeah, because now we just Hyper Voice and we uh, Hidden Power Ice into the Landorus. If he wants to follow me, fine. You're still taking super effective damage. It's Landorus, it's Choice Scarf, so don't follow me. It's just, it's getting knocked out. Okay, so he doesn't do that, so we just, we win this game easily. Wow, you got knocked out from that. Okay, well then you're probably not going to enjoy this single target Hyper Voice from Mega Gardevoir. My friend. Just so much damage. And he's going for a dazzling gleam. Like, is this. Is this assault this Togekiss? And yet, another crit. I love this game. This game. So, this is one of those instances where we got all kinds of crits and craziness, but we still ended up winning just by managing the board better, I think. And uh, we ended up winning no matter what. But I think we definitely managed the board a lot better. Uh, the turn one uh, feint into Smeargle complete game changer really i mean he was just it was that after that turn one yeah we we took you know a lot of damage like you know on infernape but that's fine because his his smeargle didn't get to do anything he got knocked out turn one and i didn't even do it he knocked it out so yeah that's gonna be it today guys for ladder up i hope you liked it if you did feel free to like comment share subscribe all that fun stuff and hopefully i'll see you back for some more 1700s action i don't get to say that very often